Mona, right? Can we? Looking for trouble, I assume. So you haven't lost your charm. And you're still boozy as a swill tub. What do you want? I've come to warn you. Your life's in danger. Aren't you the crafty one? Whatever, get it away! Possibly I had a hand in selling a sensitive document to one of those Templar chaps you're so fond of. Congratulations, your mission was a success. How can I make amends? You sober enough for target practice? Anything for a lady. Help me kill these men! Come from the back! Is this your new persona? Sir Edward of Havana rescues damsels in distress. And does it suit me, Mopsy? <sighs> Better than your old personality. Really, Edward, why are you here? Yes. Well, there's a key. Most likely in the pocket of your Templar suitor. I need it. Really? And why don't I want this key for myself? Rona. I know you're no stranger to a man's boots, but the suit this key unlocks won't fit you. I'll tell you what. If I think of a chore that requires the help of an especially simple fellow, I'll let you know. Have you reconsidered my offer, Rona? Yes. As I'm indisposed, and my sense of duty runs deeper than my pride, there's a situation I hope you can investigate. Go on. Mind, I said investigate a situation, not create one. Yes, Mum. What is it? A rash of thefts and mischief. Seems too convenient it started at the same time as these bureau attacks. Could you see what you can find out around the market? A boozy swill tub like me. Are you sure? I won't let you down. It would be hard to get much lower than this. Find out. Managed to nab a pickpocket. Slyboots had a map. Something about storehouses and gunpowder. I did some research too. It's clear as day. The whole operation's run by that Templar scoundrel Hillary Flint. That's the same name from the map. He's using pickpockets to run an arms race. Against who? Me. He's in the lead, I take it. Yes, but with your map, we can destroy his weapon stores to catch up. Let's waste no time.
Edward. We've reduced that Templar Cad Flint to a fraction of his power. The only thing standing between you and your key now is Flint himself. You have an approach in mind? I'll engage him in combat. And you... Circle around. Carefully and, well... You know the rest. Suddenly squeamish, Rona. Can't quite bring yourself to kill him. Of course not. I just don't want you to feel like I'm telling you what to do. I think that injury must have left you with a touch of fever. Can we go now? Let's. Oh, he won't be hard to find. Cheeky bastard. Strutting about like the cock of the walk. Admitted, Rona. Deep down, you like the walk of that cock. I can arrange to have you and Thumakins if Flogan's too kind, anyway. What I miss the most is the fox hunt. Of course, there's plenty of other game to be found. I'll distract them. You circle around and kill. Hey, Flint! Ha! Not much of a shot, are you, Flint? <laughs> Positions would be reversed. <laughs> Should have died happier, knowing there was one less assassin in the world. <laughs> what a pity. We could never fight together on the correct side of things. <laughs> would uh, you two like a moment alone? No. It's too late. His charms all used up. Let the memory of him be locked away for good. Travers? What tide brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a noted Templar called... Uh, Upton, could you eliminate him for me? Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. residence instead. But well, why? What's he gonna do with them? I don't know. Store them? Smuggle them? Smuggle them away from his own smuggling operation? <laughs> I know. It sounds ridiculous. But a job's a job. Smuggling or a smuggler? Whoever think about that word, smuggler? Rather funny, ain't it? Whoever thinks about words? Well, not me, certainly. But say, smuggler. 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 You're right. He does have a kind of a funny word to it. Smuggler. Wait, wait. Maybe we shouldn't be saying it quite so loud. On account of it being smuggling? Right. Right. Will the others be waiting for us when we get there? Yes. This should be easy. So we move the goods, then we go to the inn. Or we should be the winner of the inn. You look 
looking for me? Smucker. I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to usurp me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? Please. I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, bother. My lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman. Jing Lang, a pirate from the farther seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Day, brother, if I may still call you that. Why? What else would you call me? Stranger, perhaps? I barely know you anymore. And if the whispers around town are to be believed, you would have me gone and done away with. Up to the car. You know better than to give it a gossip. They're always too small. Local tongues turn everything to sentimental comedy. It's domestic tragedy I'm trying to avoid. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family, except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. That is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance. Why? Why? Now, tell me. You brought it. It? My half of the map? The map. Of course, the map. The map to the treasure. To our legacy. That very one. I have mine. Where is yours? Vance, you know I feel we must protect that treasure with utmost caution. On the contrary, that map is our protection. Its treasure, our freedom. All the more reason to keep it buried, safely. But have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? Well, what have to offer? You've lost your senses. I really don't think that... The Travers estate and plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Why not begin now? Advance. Are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What are you implying? I am not implying. I am merely asking something. Do you really imagine Jing as the lady of the house? Hmm? Mistress of servants, brood. You question her love, her fitness. Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea, challenge. How will she adapt to a quiet, domestic life? Jing is none of your concern. Fans, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh? And what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. Jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety. You always had to be the favorite child, the golden boy. You can't stand it that you would give her art to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. So you hate her. I have no hate. 
only concern is Life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man. In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. He did not have so many witnesses as we do in there, Saul. Trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now. I just saved your life, mate. That's... He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. Good God, man. What's happened to you? I cannot go on anymore. My brother? A traitor? That woman? Templar, I have no family, no wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me. You don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You... You are my best friend. Come here, I'll kill you! What are you looking at? Hey, you there with your face. What was that you seen with my ma? I said she's a lovely woman inside and out. Oh, and how would you know? Well, I thought everyone knew. That's right, I said it. I'll fix that move. So Stokes talk a bit more. Come on, mate. Let's go. No! Not that way. I don't feel so good. Church! In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy... Mate, the Father, the Son, and the Holy... What's the third one again? Let's just keep it moving, yeah? The Father, the Son, and the... Let's keep it moving? No, that's not it. What does it matter? <laughs> <gasps> it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Nothing in this sour life does. Let's keep it moving. Hmm? Keep it moving. Who are... Oh. Not that way. A bit dim, are we? I don't feel so good. Afton, mate, no. Guards. There are guards nearby. Piss off! Someone just they won't off. stand for this. I said piss off! Oh, I need it. I don't want to be like a child, Evan. It's all right, mate. Help me not be like a child. You just need the drink to wear off. Are you safe here? Safety is an illusion. But yes, I have friends here I can hide. Good. What you must think of me. Have I said anything embarrassing? No, mate. You sound quite the scholar. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? Imagine. 
a Templar. My brother to marry a Templar. I doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. Oh, please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. You're a forever friend, right? Hmm. Well, you're looking better than last we met. As I sobered up, I began to see it more clearly. Jing has led my brother astray, and must be killed. Vance has also betrayed me. As an assassin, his treachery must be punished by death. So either way, one of them has the Templar key. You're obviously distraught. Let me take care of it. I will tell you where to find them. Takes one to know one. <sighs> Jin Lang, as I live and breathe. I told him not to hire you. You traitor! I will not meet the same fate! <sighs> Has it? Your husband. Better men than these fools. 